So there we have it, 40 years of uh, successful launches for the wonderful Ariane rocket. And uh, Stefan Israel is joining me back again here in the studio. Stefan is the CEO of Ariane Space, just to remind you, the company responsible for launching our, our rockets. Stefan, it's mission accomplished tonight for Ariane Space. Yes, it's mission accomplished. It, be, it has been a perfect launch and uh, you know that uh, we are very proud and honored to have delivered tonight for Intelsat, for BSAT, for Space Logistics and with our two partners, uh, Maxar and Northrop Grumman, so it's a big success. This is the first time we deliver three satellites to geostationary orbit, so this is a premiere, as we say in French. And uh, this launcher was the most capable we have ever launched with 10 to uh, tons available for the satellite. So many, many innovations tonight for us. A lot of firsts tonight. And, uh, of course, every space program involves hundreds, sometimes thousands of people working together, m sometimes for many, many years. Who's made tonight's mission possible? Yes, so uh, regarding uh, what uh, the launcher has accomplished, we must thank tonight many partners. We must thank Arian Group, which is Arian Space Mother Company, and which is the prime contractor of the launcher, delivering the launcher to Arian Space at liftoff, what we call H0. We must thank CNES. CNES is a design authority of Arian 5, and CNES is our daily partner in CIG, and you know that it has been very uh, hard to work in CNG during the COVID conditions, and we must thank our partner in CNES AG for that. We must thank ISA, which is uh, uh, the, the, at the head of the overall uh, program of uh, Ariane in Europe. And so a big thank to ISA. Uh, and for sure, we must thank uh, Ariane Space Team, who have worked as hell to make uh, this success possible tonight. And we had to be a little bit patient, didn't we, for the, la the launch tonight, but we got there in the end. Yes. Thanks, Stefan. So let's see if we can go over to Luce now. Luce Fabregat in the Mission Control Centre at the Guiana Space Centre. We're hoping that we can join her because she will be, of course, with her the, the teams there. Luce, what's the atmosphere like? We are... Uh, <laughs> I think you can look on our faces. We are really relieved and uh, very happy and... Uh, if I may, uh, Stefan, I would like to, to say a big, big thanks to uh, all the teams. I know that people have been uh, spending uh, weeks and weeks here and uh, working tirelessly to, to achieve this launch. So uh, thanks a lot to, to everybody. And now uh, the journey is, uh, is over for the, for the launcher, but uh, the journey is uh, starting for the satellites. And they, they have uh, already acquired the signals, the first signals from the, from the two ones we have uh, separated for Intelsat, uh, Galaxy 30 and uh, MEV2. And uh, maybe they have already, uh, they, they, they are close to, to acquire the signal for, uh, for uh, BSAT 3B for, uh, for Japan. Uh, so everything uh, seems fine. Then, uh, as soon as they have the signal, they will start the operations. First, uh, having the energy, and so for that, uh, deploy the, the the solar panel towards uh, towards the sun. And after that, uh, start the the propulsion sequence. And uh, they all have a chemical propulsion, so it will uh, it will take a short time for all of them to to get to their final um, slot uh, in orbit and. Uh, and uh, we, we wish them uh, all the best for their, uh, for their lives. Thank you very much indeed, Luz, for taking the time to come and talk to us. And our very best wishes to all the teams now as, as they take on their satellites, as you say. Luz Fabregat, thank you. And good luck for your fine next operations. So, Stefan, today marks the first launch since the resumption of activities at the Guiana Space Centre. What's next? When's the next launch? Yes, so the next launch will be with uh, our dear Vega. It will be on September the 1st. It's a very important launch because it is what we call the proof of concept of SSMS. We will have 53 satellites on board for 21 different customers. So it will be a very exciting mission and it will be September the 1st. And I really want to thank all our teams in Guyana. Luce uh, has mentioned the fact that the teams have been working for months now. 
they have uh, arrived in Guyana at the end of May, so we are now mid-August, so you can imagine that with our customers, with our partners, how we have had to work to make this success tonight. So thank you to all of them, and we will be back September the 1st with Vega, and it will be a great event as well. Great. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Stefan, and thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here again on the 1st of September for that launch. Uh, until then, I hope you'll join us then, and until then, from Stefan and from me, goodbye. Goodbye.